today I want to share my top five shove it variations and originally I was just going to make this as a short but I thought it might be fun to kind of bring you along and talk about some of the details of my favorite shove -its. So welcome to the behind the scenes of a past or future short. Let's film the intro first. First up, we have the Nolly backside shove it. If you watch the channel, this should come as absolutely no surprise as I am obsessed with it. And I love putting them right after a backwards monster walk because they just feel so good. Number two is a shove it to cross foot. Shove it cross foot is a trick I have not done in a really long time, but I really like pretzel tricks. I would say if you want to get into pretzel tricks, the first thing I would do is just work on switching your feet, just working on the pretzel hop in general. And the thing that helped me the most is just opening up my shoulders a lot. Don't keep them parallel, turn them and work on the pretzel like this. If you do it this way, it's just way harder to balance here as opposed to here. And I mean, as you get better, you might want to close your shoulders up a little bit. I think the pretzel looks great like this, just a little bit open, a little relaxed. So I'm not really concerned. I really don't want to land with my feet close together. I want them as far apart as possible. Get a better shove it because that's what always happens you start to try a new variation you try it with an obstacle and it's like you forget how to do the trick entirely because you're too focused on the next step and not focused on the first one I've been trying to switch up the camera angles to make the videos a little more visually interesting but today since I do have to cut this into a short I do have to just film wide unfortunately. Next is the shove it one foot landing which surprisingly isn't the trick that took the longest to land but it's definitely the hardest variation of the shove it that I can do and I approached it exactly the same way that I did the cross foot. I practiced jumping under one foot and the hardest part is actually not getting your foot on the board but it's staying on that foot not even because it's so wobbly but just because it's so hard to <laughs> land on one foot like that it's so hard to jump onto one foot Ooh. and with this variation I just try to keep my foot as close to the board as possible That was so much faster than I thought it was going to be. And I imagine that some viewers will comment on the fact that the shove it pretzel and the shove it one footed landing were done stationary and therefore do not count. And well, I do these tricks stationary because I tend to put them into stationary chunks of my freestyle lines and I'm not playing a game of skate at the barracks with made up rules. They count. They always count. But my next two tricks do roll. My next trick is the Fakey backside big spin. This is definitely one of my favorite tricks. I absolutely love doing this one and I'm so stoked that I'm getting them much better recently. So the two biggest things for me 
is being able to stand up straight and get a really straight turn of my body, right? Trying to keep my body nice and upright when I'm doing the body burial. Because when I do like one of these, then my body kind of gets all over the place, which is the second thing, leaning too far. Whenever I lean like this, when I try to do the backside big spin, I fall off a lot like that. But let's get this. That was pretty good. The last one is the Ollie Late Show. <laughs> Which I really wish I can do, but I can't. So the next one's actually is a brand new trick and that is Fakey Manny Show. I'm sure that stricter skaters are going to say that that was not a fakey manual and it doesn't count but I still hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed filming it and I hope you have a beautiful day.